Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me. This week's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not a tutorial, it's going to be a talk through about what happened this past week. So if you don't know what happened, basically James Charles said this very offensive tweet, to put it lightly, and then Z Palette was also getting in trouble for some pretty offensive tweets. And there's this trend that is going on that's like exposing YouTubers who are really rude or mean in person. So that would be nice to focus on something positive instead of negative and do like kind of a spoof on that to be like exposing like nice YouTubers that I've met. So that's what this video is going to be. If that interests you, then continue watching. And if it doesn't interest you, then go watch one of those exposed videos. The first YouTuber that came to mind when I thought about exposing the kind people is Jay Kissa. It's Jay Kissa Makeup. I don't know if that's her channel name or her Instagram name or both, but I'll put her down below if you don't know her. I admired her for so long before I actually met her. I kind of freaked out when I did meet her, but she did these really cool two-toed eyes and really um, creative makeup, and I just really wanted to meet her, and when I did, she was so sweet. I think she actually gave me a hug, which was really cool. <laughs> um, and then I had lunch with her and a bunch of other influencers. I think this is at LA IMADS or Fame Expo, but anyway, she was just the sweetest person ever. Um, she's cruelty free, which I think is amazing and very important to me as well. So if you're looking for someone that does creative makeup, is cruelty free and just insanely nice, Jay Kissa is someone to definitely keep in mind. Next up, I picked more of an Instagrammer than a YouTuber just in case people are more into Instagram instead of YouTube. It's my best friend, Rebecca Seals. She is crazy talented and I couldn't make a video about um, nice makeup people if I didn't mention Rebecca. She has these really amazing quality photos of close-ups that are not only creative but just like HD you can see all the grains there's like lash focus it's something that has inspired me to work better on my work and she's always been there for me as a friend supporting me whenever I need her so if you're looking for someone like that then check out at Rebecca Seals Thirdly, we have Jessica Hayes. She is another cruelty-free artist, which I admire, but she's just super sweet. She has this adorable Australian accent, and she's another person that like I admired for a while before I met her. She actually posted a photo of mine on Instagram, or like a collage when I was significantly less followers than I have now, which meant a lot to me to have the support of someone else in the industry that I admire. She also does crazy creative looks, a lot of more like goth lifestyle, you know? <laughs> you know? Um, she went from silver hair to black hair, now I'm at silver hair, we're like on opposite sides of the spectrum, but she's just a sweetie, she gives really good advice too, um, so if you're looking for someone like that, then check out Jessica Hayes MUA, um, maybe you're Australian and want to follow an Australian artist. Lastly, another very big person is Dominique, Dominique LDR on Instagram, and I think she is kicking off her YouTube too as well. Um, Dominique was my number one inspiration on everything, and I was like, dying to meet her above any other people because her looks just really inspired me and she got me into doing the shape where you put heavy shading at the top of your eyebrow and um, it meant the world to me when she followed me and got to know me a little bit before I met her actually and then I met her, I think I met all these people at the same time at LA Fame Expo, not IMATS. Um, and she was just really, really sweet too. Um, she was with Arisa and Rebecca Shores, who are both also very nice people. I met Succubus there, who's super sweet. I picked four people to mention now, but that doesn't mean that influencer, influencers that I've met haven't been like insanely nice and kind, because the majority of them are kind, so I think it's important to acknowledge that instead of just focusing on the negativity in the community right now, although it should be talked about. So now that you have those four amazing artists to think about, um, I just wanted to mention two brands that um, are really, really sweet since we had the James Charles thing and then the Z Palette thing. Here's two brands that I have met the people behind the scenes of and they are incredibly nice and supportive. First up, as I'm sure you could have guessed, is House of Lashes. Um, Marie is the person that I was in contact with originally with House of Lashes, but then I met all the other people who worked there when I went to film with my best friend Rebecca. Um, and they were just so nice. We met the owner and CEO who was so kind to us. She hugged us. They were very attentive and just super, super kind. And I think it's really important that the companies you're giving, you're giving your money to like are sweet as well. None of them had anything negative to say. So I'm just sharing the people that I know that I've been very fortunate to meet and um, are really kind people that if you're looking to support, you can support them. House of Lashes also doesn't do mink lashes, which as 
I've said before, and if you research it, then you know that there's like no such thing as cruelty-free mink um, because of the way that they are housed on these mink farms. So if you do not wear mink lashes, which I gave them up when I found out about that, thanks to Lady Wolf X, Sarah, who is another amazing, very kind artist, um, then that you can always support them like that. My favorite style is pixie looks from them. Um, so you can check those out. The second brand and the last person I want to talk about is Danessa Myricks. If you do not know Danessa Myricks, she has these crazy, amazing skin focus photos that has different lighting techniques. It'll be like blue and red and purple. Blue and purple tones are my favorite, I'll have you know. Um, and she is so sweet. I met her, um, like right hand woman, Diamond, at the makeup show in Dallas. She was so sweet as well and very, very nice. That's how I got kind of introduced to Danessa Myrick's brand. Her and light powders and her metal pigments are like my favorite products. I use them all the time. I'm wearing the ice and light powder right now. And her color fixes, the 24 hour color stays are like incomparable. So if you want to check out a black owned business, which is important to keep in mind, a woman owned business, um, they are both two things that you can always think about supporting if you're into that, which I personally am. You can always check out Danessa Merricks as well. Although the negative is important for it to be addressed, I think that once the negativity is addressed and there's offered solutions that it shouldn't be harped on for like a long time. It should definitely be remembered so history doesn't repeat itself, but I think it's important to replace it with positivity, which is why I wanted to make this video and give it an interesting spin on it instead of like, let me feed on this negativity, like who else can I bash? Who else can I make an exposed video about? Maybe like try and spread a little bit more love and positivity to the industry because specifically the beauty industry, I think it's a very bad rep and there's a lot of kind people in it, so maybe look into those people as well. Spread the love. Um, and with that, I will get off and stop rambling, so I hope you enjoyed this video. The miniature attaching video will be up pretty soon. I still have to finish editing it, so if you would like to see that, subscribe if you feel like it. Don't subscribe if you don't want to, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!